I want you to keep in your diary the date of October the 13th. That is the next US inflation report number. And that is due out next Thursday. And that's gonna be the number that the market really focuses on. I know we've got the jobs number today. I know we've got company earnings starting next week. And they're all gonna be important, but there's nothing more important right now than what's going on with inflation. 8.1% inflation in the US. We need to see a number back closer to 76 7.5%. I think inflation is coming down faster than what many expect. And I do anticipate in the last couple of years that we could see lower inflation by Christmas, a little lower than what many anticipated. And that's gonna put central banks on the back foot rather than on the front foot with regarding continuing aggressive interest rate increases. So the 13th of October is the day that financial markets could take off in a big way if we get a lower than expected inflation number. If we don't get a lower than expected inflation number, we could see markets contract back further. But so far this week, we've had a couple of really strong days. We have a couple of average down days, nothing as down as what we had up at the start of the week. So I'm still up for the week and we've still got one day of trading activity to go on Wall Street on Friday. Of course, the Asian markets don't mean a heck of a lot for global equity markets. But right now, October the 13th, Put it in your diary, get ready for it, because that is going to be the day and that is going to be the timing of that inflation release is going to see whether or not this market finishes off the balance of the month positively or negatively. At this point in time, I'm leaning towards a better than expected inflation number. Have a wonderful Friday wherever you are. See you Monday.